welcome back now in this video we will simply implement the job detail screen so whenever the user will click on this job it will then send the user to the job detail screen so we're gonna implement that so let's go and start working first we're gonna create the dart file for the job detail screen so right in this folder jobs as you guys can see in here right click create a new dart file and we're gonna name this as a job details instead of space underscore and details that is fine now right in there we will have a stateful widget so in here write st and there we go with the stateful widget we're gonna name this as a job detail screen remove this key we don't need this and click on the start for widget import the library material dot dot now we will go back to the job widget dot dot right in here and we will go up in here We leave this on tab even empty so in here now whenever as i told you before the user will click on this job it will send the user to the job details screen so for that in here we will add the navigator so it will simply push the user to the job details screen so let's go and do that we will say navigator dot push replacement gonna take the contacts now we will provide the root the root is gonna be material page root as you guys know already you can take the builder and in here remove that and there will be contacts now we will send the user to the job detail screen there we go desegregation right at and semicolon as you guys can see right in here and for now the job detail screen as you guys can see right in here is totally empty there is just an empty container so there will be nothing on the job detail screen but an empty screen so let's go and test that if it's work or not so simply I'll go and how to load the app now in here simply click on this job any of the job in here and it will send you to the job detail screen and it's gonna be totally empty screen there we go it's working totally fine and now we are on the job detail screen because as you guys can see in here job detail screen there is just an empty container so that's why right in here on the screen there is nothing now we will create a beautiful combination and a mixture of a two color as you guys know already as we did before right in the previous screens so we have already implemented the code for that so let's go and copy that code for a time saving we will go toward the job screen as you guys can see right in here or you can open it from here job screen let's go up and in here first we will copy that decoration from here to here okay simply copy that and go towards the job detail screen dot dot as you guys can see right in here right in the container past it now we will go back towards the job screen dot dot in here i will simply copy that from here first and go back to the job detail in here below this box decoration you will say child and gonna have this graph all widget right in there pass the call okay now in here we will add the app bar app bar and take this down now let's go back to the job screen dot dot in here we will copy that container from here to here copy it go back 
to the job details dot dot in here right in the app bar of a job details screens dot dot as you guys can see right in here right in the app bar past it now we are done with the mixture of the two color also for the app bar and the body as you guys can see already in here now simply I have already how to load the app so there is no need of doing that again I will just press the control s and you guys will notice the output there we go the mixture of a two color deep orange with share 300 and also the blue accent working totally fine now simply we will add the leading icon button so whenever the user will tap on that icon button it will send the user to the job screen so let's go and create that leading icon button so below this container what we will say you will say leading and icon button in here now right in there let's add the icon icon in the icons let's go with the dot clause I'll go with this one you can choose whatever you want right in here I'll go with this one and also we will set the size for that let us go with the 40 and let us go and set the color for that so colors we will go with the white now it's going to take the unpress event there we go as I tell you we will send the user to the job screen whenever the user will tap on that on that leading icon button so in here we will say navigator dot push replacement provide the root so it's going to be material page root in their contacts now we will get the user to the job screen right it and semicolon so there we go in here add the const modifier all just fine so we have successfully add the leading icon button as you guys can see right in here now I will simply just press the control s and you guys will notice the output there we go with the leading icon okay and now if I press on that icon button it will simply send the user who is currently online will send it to the job screen as I tell you already so let's go and click on that as you guys can see now we are on the job screen so from here you can click on that job it will send you to the job detail screen there we go okay and come here and click on that it will send you back to the job screen it's working totally fine so basically that's it for this video and we will work further right from the next video so see ya